Welcome back, great YouTubers, to part 44. There's the horse's asses. And we're back at camp. And let's go here to Mary Beth. Let's give her a visit. Let's see what this is about. Any hair pomade? Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but... But we're still alive. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told Road me to she Radley's was worried house. that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. Okay. I think there's a guard. I'll Let's fix them. this. Miss Grimshaw, you'll deal with him. Whoa. You crazy old woman. Come, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said... It. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. You're crazy, Miss Grimshaw. Sheriff! What the hell you think you're doing? Uh, that's Take how you it! You're going to hell! Oh, oh, no. You thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Let's do this. Take him back to Tilly. 
That's the last so yeah. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. That's the last so That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Get this off of me. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Let's throw him. This could get bumpy. All right, here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I wanna get a good look at this monster. Let's drop him over here. So he's still alive then? Ah, I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. No, I don't want to see that. No. That's too. That's too <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Get out of here. Well, if you like this mission, be sure to check the next one. Have a nice day, toodaloo!